Hey guys, what is up? This is Trevor from Dan Tech TV, and I have kind of a little tweak for you today. Uh, it's called, well, it's actually two things. Uh, it's called Typo Clock Builder Insidia and Clock Builder in the App Store. So, that'll make you do this to your lock screen. It'll allow you to customize it in any way, any text down here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first. Hmm, probably should have already had that open. But anyways, first things first. You want to go ahead and get the free stuff. So this is the free thing. This is Typo Clock Builder. Go to Cydia, download that, and that's the free part. This is the paid part. This app is 99 cent in the App Store. You're gonna need this. And what this tweak does, I guess, it's kind of like a theme tweak. I don't know. Um, what it does is it takes a application from Apple's App Store into Cydia's App Store. So what it's going to allow you to do is to make your lock screen in any way you want it to. Um, but anyways, you'll see what I mean in a second. So just after you get the app, you can get that in Instalus or in the app store I actually bought mine I thought it was worthwhile cuz I'm constantly downloading jailbreak things for my lock screen cuz I can't stay with what I like and this is fully customizable and it allows you to put whatever you want so again it's called typo clock builder and what it, first thing you're gonna wanna do is set a background so you're gonna hit the gears over here and just hit set background and choose your background from your saved photos and then we'll just get started from there. Close just makes the drop down go away. You can tap, make it come back. All right, edit here, and then just hit list. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this plus, and all these choices will come up. And let's say, of course, you want a clock, so just hit done on the clock, and it comes up. Then you're gonna want the AMPM symbol. All right, that's optional. All of these are optional the day digit mm. yeah I'll take it and then the day name and then month year I'll put both I guess taking the time up sorry about that guys okay now if you have your Wi-Fi on like I do you are allowed to make wed weather widgets HTC however you like I do not go with that so I don't care but I go to custom text and just hit done alright when you hit done you should be confronted with all these words at the top just go ahead and spread them out however you want first because we're gonna edit it as we go alright so there's the time this bar down here is what's gonna allow you to customize how big or small you want them to be so I'm gonna go ahead and make the time pretty big here about like that alright so just customize it however you want to I'm going to put under it Sunday June 26th 2011 and in this extra space I'm going to put PM for the clock up there and then this is some text and we're just gonna tap that hit these little tools over here and hit in the quotations and we can type whatever we want to let's say I'm gonna say subscribe And you can make it however you want, however long you want to, and you can just go ahead and do that. This allows you to change color, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that to blue. See? 
And I'm just going to move that there for now. Or there. You'll see why I did that in a minute. You can add glow to it. I don't really like glow. I just think it's bulky. So I'm going to go ahead and make this red. You can customize any color. I'm going to make this Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and make that in green. Or maybe not. Yeah, sometimes what it does is you'll hit the day or the t day number or it'll just won't register as it. So we're just not going to worry about that for now. Sorry, guys. But you can customize it however you want to. Oh, I like that color. Okay. So let's say you have it like that, but you don't like the font. So just go up here to the top letter and you can customize that however you want. Mm. Oh, no. Mm. And I'll stick with the italic. Okay. And you can change the words. I don't care. I hate this thing sometimes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put that one as the cursive one, June. Alright. And once you're pretty much done with that, you're going to hit done. And then this, and save theme. I'm going to save it as demo. Alright, should be saved. Go here. And look at all your themes you've created. See, there's that one. And there's the other one I had. Alright. So, tap it and hit activate theme I should say activated you can do this this way you can set as lock screen here or you can set as lock screen here all right now watch it might take it a while to pop up and there you go guys and see I put the slider thing wrong there but all you gotta do is hit edit. Done, done. Close. No. Nah. Stick for the side. Anyways, guys, you can strive to be perfect with it. Then any changes you make, you can save the theme. I'm gonna save it as demo. Go to right. Set as lock screen. Again, it might take it a while. And there you go. Just slide it and it should unlock. Okay, then you're going to hit the gears. And this will require a respring is to change the lock screen settings, which is a slider. You have all these choices of sliders here that you can choose from. Uh, I personally like the original one, but it's entirely up to you. It will require a respring, though. Uh, you can make a slideshow of backgrounds. I haven't tried that yet. Go ahead for it. Uh, weather settings. This is what I was talking about. You can make it flat. I like it flat. You can make HTC. If you see that. Oh no, don't freeze. Ah, oh, it crashed. Sometimes it will crash. Just don't worry about it. Go ahead and open it back up. Let it load up. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't had an app to crash on me. I don't know how long. Anyways, there it is. So anyways, what I was saying is you can just customize the weather and everything. But anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, nothing too big about it unless you like to edit your lock screen like daily almost. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you go out and get this. I do recommend not installing with Instalist on that app. Go ahead and pay for it. It is very worth it. Just go ahead for it. But anyways, guys, that's about it. I'll talk to you later. And make sure to subscribe up here at the top. You know, up here. Up, 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 top, top. 
and comment below if you have any questions, concerns. Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much about it. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Peace out.